This is Twit. So, for the, for the sake of painting a full picture of just how rocky things still are in the crypto industry, I should also touch on this earlier discovery, which I referred to, Bitforge, which was made by a group known as Fireblocks. Two weeks ago, on August 9th, Fireblocks posted their discovery under the title Fireblocks researchers uncover vulnerabilities impacting dozens of major wallet providers. And they explained in their posting today, Fireblocks cryptography research team announced the discovery of multiple zero day vulnerabilities in some of the most used cryptographic multi-party computation MPC protocols, including GG18, GG20, and implementations of Lindell 17. If left unremediated, the exposures would allow attackers and malicious insiders to drain funds from the wallets of millions of retail and institutional customers in seconds with no knowledge to the user or vendor. The series of vulnerabilities dubbed Bitforge impact popular wallet providers like Coinbase WAAS, And uh, I guess that's wallet as a service to which you have to ask, what could possibly go wrong with that? We also have Zengo and Binance using this. They said following industry standard 90 day responsible disclosure processes, Coinbase WAAS and Zengo have since fixed and resolved the identified issues. They don't mention Binance there. They said, in addition, The academic papers, which had the details of their flaws redacted, have been revised. The Fireblocks cryptography research team findings were presented during the Black Hat USA conference on Wednesday, August 9th, and will be shared at DEF CON on Thursday the 10th. Pavel Berengoltz, co-founder and chief technology officer at Fireblocks, said, quote, as decentralized finance and Web3 continue to gain popularity, the need for secure wallet and key management providers is evident. While we're, dis- while we're encouraged to see that MPC, that's the multi-party stuff, is now ubiquitous. Wow, I'm not encouraged, but okay. Is now ubiquitous within the digital asset industry. It's evident from our findings and our subsequent disclosure process that not all MPC developers and teams are created equal. Companies leveraging Web3 technology should work closely with security experts with the know-how and resources to stay ahead of and mitigate vulnerabilities. Maintaining and updating core infrastructure technologies like Web3 wallets is crucial in, get this, in preventing thefts and attacks, which amounted to, ready for this, nearly $500 million dollars. In just the first half, just the first half, Leo, of of this past year, 2023. Wow. Half billion here, half billion there. It starts to add yeah. up. Yeah. And where is this? Who like who has all this money that's been lost? <laughs> well, they you know, don't it's anymore. Just an astonishing, <laughs> astonishing amount of money is yeah. being drained out of people. Yeah. It's, uh, wow. Anyway, wallet as a service from the beginning. No, wrong. The, <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, I'll tell you what the service is. (laughs) Yeah. We'll take your money, then we'll take your money. Wallet as a drain plug. Yeah. Um, Anyway, from the beginning of this cryptocurrency odyssey, our one constant piece of advice here has been to keep your wallet safely offline. And I mean, then, okay, don't forget your password. (laughs) (laughs) Don't forget Whatever you do. Do not format the hard disk and nor, where you had your 50 yes, bitcoins. That's right. That's Boy, that was a dumb one. Oh, don't uh, even just forget that ever happened. Anyway, enough said. Enough said. Uh, if you want to play with crypto, just please be careful and heed the age-old investment advice to never gamble more than you're able to lose. See, we so, this was we didn't gamble anything. It no. cost you nothing to get that 50 bitcoin. Only heartache yeah. after I formatted the heartache. Yeah, I never have yeah. purchased Bitcoin. It was all donated. No. So, 
we didn't gamble anything, but people were buying Bitcoin. Not now. I hope not. Anyway. But. Well, and you know, in all fairness, uh, at the when I was in Boston with you, Leo, when we did the the event there, uh, and had a whole bunch of our of our podcast listeners show up, we made some Bitcoin millionaires. What? There, there was a guy came up and said, "Thank you, Steve." I listened to your Bitcoin podcast. I got involved. I'm now retired. I've never <gasps> had to work again. Holy cow. And this was a young guy. Nice. Very yeah. nice. Well, oh, that was very cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't follow my own advice. <laughs> anyway. Oops. Uh, <laughs> oh, no good. You want to hear about the latest news happening in the tech world from the people who write the article, sometimes from the people who are actually making the news? Well, we got a show for you here at twit.tv. It's called Tech News Weekly. Me, Jason Howell, and my co-host, Micah Sargent, we talk with some amazing people each and every Thursday on Tech News Weekly. And we share a little bit of our own insights in each of us bringing a story of the week. That's at twit.tv slash TNW. Subscribe right now.